Creeper. Oh man. Revenge, first released on August 19, 2011, is a Minecraft parody with lyrics written by Minecraft YouTuber Captain Sparkles. The lead vocals were done by Try Hard Ninja, with rap and some other vocals being by Sparkles. The song was also in company with an animated music video made using Maya. Not that one. Now this was a parody, specifically of the July 2010 song DJ's Got Us Falling In Love. Made and sung by Usher, with additional vocals and the rap provided by Pitbull. After a brief incident with the almighty copyright, the parody was replaced with an original song with similar lyrics, though the parody was eventually restored. Some other official variations include Sparkle's parody of a genius lyrics video and a remix. These did get a lot of views, but they didn't really get altered that much. The meme began with a video by YouTuber King in which their Discord server attempted to recite the lyrics to Revenge, an emphasis on the attempted. Now, this has roots in a lot of things. The internet generally likes to recite stuff, and if it's in the Discord server, it is especially prone to mistakes. The specific starting instance began because Balling Creeper with Aunt Man was already a joke within that server. This triggered the Discord singing trend where people would try to do the same thing on their own Discord servers and capture it all in a YouTube video. While their songs were sometimes used, the main focus of this singing trend was revenge. Now, copycats can spread things very quickly, and they did so quite well to the point where server operators had to make separate Creeper on Man channels or just ban the word Creeper in order to curb the spam. Revenge leaped to number one on Genius Lyrics because everyone was looking for the lyrics in order to do the Discord game, since apparently nobody has the lyrics to my Parry's memorized at all times. Such a shame. So Discord scenes very effectively flung Revenge across the internet and tossed it into the eyes of everyone, and this is where it gets very interesting because instead of just remaining in Discord's fan channels, it began to develop its own musical variation based on the song and its video and not the Discord meme. While the Discord meme videos did get popular, the greatest popularity boost was to the original video which jumped up 10 million views. Many animated parodies of the original song emerged, as well as some specifically musical variations, mostly covered using certain different people, but things like high quality rips, combinations with other songs, or sound effects were also implemented as well. Most variations were on the song or video itself. In other words, revenge were treated like memes that was unconnected to any external meme, in this case, Discord. Now that isn't to say that there aren't any Discord references in these memes, it's just that they're much rarer than you'd expect with the entity that pushed this meme into the mainstream. So the meme shifted from being a Discord meme to being a music or animation meme. The revenge meme is just about Discord, it's about the Minecraft parody, and that aspect is what makes this meme rather interesting. As a revised song, there are contexts for both its original release and its revival. Revenge was Captain Sparkle's second parody, the first being TNT, and his most viewed. Now, Captain Sparkles was a huge pioneer of this genre, and this song in particular had a huge impact. This was a very important parody, so one could say it was representative of the era. Alright, now let's fast forward several years. In the mid-2010s, Minecraft had fallen from its high position, it was often seen as not cool or a kid's game. There were obviously still some people playing it, but it had very distinctly fallen. Until 2019. Eight years later, and it's nostalgia o'clock. The Minecraft revival had begun, and by the end of 2019, it had become the most searched game in YouTube, surpassing Fortnite. So, in the middle of 2019, where this meme began, the revival was swinging forward with quite a momentum. The revival of Revenge quite closely mirrors the revival of Minecraft as a whole. Old fans relived their ancient memories, Captain Sparkle's channel got a big jump, and new fans started to experience the glory of the old age of Minecraft, and eventually a new age with Dawn with its own memories. Like Phoenix, both the Minecraft and its parodies rose from the ashes, with Minecraft gaining more acceptance and the nostalgia way moving forward, the revenge meme was quickly pushed into variations based on the song and the video, as it was this part that carried the most weight of nostalgia. With that being said, this is a parody, and as with all parodies, there's a good amount of jokes saying that it's a parody, it's an original song. So to what extent is Revenge more popular than DJ's Got Us Falling In Love? Well... Now, if you were to just look at the views of the videos, you'd find that Revenge has a couple million less views than DJ's Got Us Falling In Love, but there's more to this. Revenge has twice the amount of likes and dislikes as DJ's Got Us Falling In Love and about five times as many comments. It may be viewed less, but it is interacted with a lot more. Now, this doesn't necessarily indicate greater popularity. For example, it could just be that Richard fans are simply listening to the song without commenting. If we took into account the general population, it is quite obvious that DJ's Got a Swelling Love is more popular. The song has hit the tops of the charts in a lot of charts that I am sure are relevant in the music community. But of course, we don't care about people outside our bubble. So, what about its popularity within the mainstream meme culture? Well, on Google Trends, Creeper on Man, since we obviously can't use Revenge as a search term, 
Hell, basis DJ has got us falling in love. It's not that the original doesn't have its own standing, but Revenge has certainly invaded it quite effective, with the majority of the most visible comments on the original song being Minecraft related. So perhaps you can conclude that Revenge is more popular on the internet. Ultimately, popularity is subjective depending on what we're using it for and what we're looking at. Copycats on Discord managed to spread this quite a lot, but Discord copycats can't necessarily account for gigantic spikes in new covers and views. Revenge had been lying in the subconsciousness of everyone, including those who started the meme, meaning that once it resurfaced, the gears of the internet began turning almost immediately. Now, not everyone liked the meme, probably because of its repetitiveness and the spam, but I would argue that it reaches beyond the Discord game, which is what most people will associate is the 2019 meme. For example, part of the mainstream meme culture is the group that makes a version of every main song that shows up. Now, they were present when this first song came out. All of these, for the most part, reference the original video and not the Discord meme. If we take into account these versions based on the parody itself, it's actually a lot more high effort than one might expect. The Discord meme spread revenge to a lot of places, but most notably was placed into view with the ever-shifting eye mainstream meme. It became quite large during July and August, and Minecraft-related people like Captain Sparkles himself referenced the meme. Well, and somewhat importantly, PewDiePie, who was doing his Minecraft series around then, talked about it. The crowd that was the most impacted by its return were the ones who listened to it in 2011, or even those who just played Minecraft in general at the time. Because this song in particular is indicative of the times that it was created in. Now, the song is based on universal experiences in Minecraft, finding diamonds, getting blown up by creepers, etc. I find the use of MLG and the rap part as something that particularly stands out. Also, it's a song by Captain Sparkles, one of the biggest Minecraft YouTubers of the era. The ability of the song to bring up nostalgia is very great because it's such a good representation of a video from that era. So as said previously, Revenge really isn't a Discord meme anymore. All the Discord game, game managed to do was boost its growing perception as a relic from the past. The song and other parodies is essentially Minecraft nostalgia in musical form. A lot of comments reminisce about the good old days for quite good reason. Side note, this interestingly applies to the original DJ's Got Us Falling In Love as well. Now, this song isn't really seen that often past the meme. It did generate Discord scenes, which appears every now and then, but usually not with Revenge specifically. And it did also give a boost to other parodies like Fallen Kingdom. It's still getting views, but the appearances in the meme are rare. However, its greater legacy is how it extends to Minecraft as a whole. Because this is bigger than just revenge, his return after 8 years of dormancy shows the true eternity of Minecraft and all of its memories, the nostalgic tint combined with the new vigor of modern meme culture. It represents the passion for the old age of the people who drove this meme, as well as the eternal creation of something new from something old. I really like this meme, partly because it's a Minecraft parody, but also because it's a demonstration of Minecraft's power. The meme might have died, but what it represents, Minecraft has not, and it shows no signs of dying. So then, this meme is creativity coupled with both new and old fun, an aspect that quite fits Minecraft. And that is revenge. Aw oh, man.